Well, today, friends, we are going thrifting at my local Savers. Well, it's 45 minutes away, but I am bringing you along today and sharing with you some of the items I saw, and I will be sharing a haul at the end. So first off, I always hit up florals because you never know what you're going to find, and there's always some hidden gems, I feel like, in there, but... Um, this looked kind of cute, but not with the butterflies on it. And savers sometimes can be a bit pricey where I'm at unless you get some discounts of some sort or go on a specific day that's 50% off. So if I really want it, um, I either get it on a discount day or I get it because I really, really would like it or I need it. And I do want to say this is a collaboration with Kristen Hoffman. She is such a fun spirited lady who does so many thrift of me and thrift haul videos. Right now though, she's moving into a new house. Um, so I'm sure she'll be having a lot of fun thrift with me videos for her new home and home decor. So definitely check out her channel. But if you're coming over from Kristen's, welcome. So glad you are here. I do thrifting videos, homemaking, motherhood, and simple living, so I'd love to have you join my YouTube community here. By the way, aren't these bowls just beautiful for spring? The yellow and a set of two for seven, they were very adorable. But then I also saw the green. I did not get them, but they would be cute to store something in. I'm always on the lookout for false graph, the heritage collection, and my friend picked this one up and pointed it out to me. So a gravy boat is definitely um, something that I would pick up. I always look in the housewares kitchen area just because you never know what you're gonna find and there's just some cute little gems in there that you can see and um, when you go with a friend it's more fun to look through because she didn't know some of the things that I knew about thrifting and I didn't know some things that she was looking at so you learn as you go when you're a thrifter. I love looking at artwork in thrift stores because I just, I love old prints. They're just so cute. And I always look for mirrors and I did get this mirror. I just didn't show that in my haul, sorry. This little adorable picture of the girl and the dog, it just kind of reminds me of my little toddler and our golden retriever, so cute. So actually in my daughter's rooms, I have those curtains, the <laughs> yellow and white, but $10.99 for two, that seemed a little pricey. So I wasn't gonna pick those up, but I love looking at curtains too, because you can find some good deals for some nice quality curtains at thrift stores. I did not get any curtains this time, however, but I just like looking. These tea towels were so cute, very farmhousey country style. I didn't pick those up either, but just kind of fun to see how someone embroidered on them. I thought this laundry basket would be really cute. It was not very sturdy though, and there's a cute um, little toy in there, I guess, too, that someone left. Yeah, just not very sturdy. And then this chair. I like looking at old furniture as well too. Most of my furniture in my home is thrifted and hand-me-down or vintage antiques that I found out rummaging and such. But these wooden chairs, I'm looking for chairs for a little fixer-upper. I did end up finding some on Marketplace, but I was checking them out to see if they were sturdy. They weren't the greatest. I always look at the lamp section and you can always swap out lamp shades, put light bulbs in, um, paint lamps to make them work for what you would like. This blue and white 
vase or vase I wasn't sure what it was was really pretty and I really debated it but I didn't get it just because I wasn't sure what I was going to use it for and same with this little container as well but it is now time to head home on my drive okay well I'm gonna share my haul with you now that I found antiquing actually I didn't share any footage of that with you I apologize because I didn't think I was going to buy anything. And then of um, some things I found thrifting. And most of these items are cottage style and some for our little fixer upper Airbnb that we have that is being renovated that we are very close to getting done. It's a little 450 square foot place. So um, let's get started. Most of this is home decor. So beautiful copper colander that I found at the antique store now um, I did this a while ago so I don't remember how much I paid I think I paid 11 for it but I keep my eggs in it uh, my farm fresh eggs that I get from some friends and they are next to my stove so I love the little porcelain with the blue line on it there it's very scratched but you know, it's cute anyways, and I love copper. On the copper theme, I picked up this copper kettle. I am excited about it. It needs some good cleaning off, and it's got a gold handle. Um, I'll use it, decorate with it. I'm not sure. Uh, the brand is Spartan Copperware USA, so it has like a Spartan figure of a head on there and I was excited that it had a lid so it'd actually be a good like egg boiling pot or something to that effect but yeah it's really um, got a lot of patina on it which is really pretty too but compared to this copper it's definitely a little bit more patinaed oh I think I paid I want to say I paid 12 for this okay and then I think that was, nope, I'm trying to think here what else I got at that antique store. So I got this linen square fabric uh, piece. It's not antique, I don't think it says fashion industries. I got it for $4, it is a tablecloth or for a mantle. I actually thought about putting it here for our TV or putting it on our little table at the fixer upper because it's kind of a cottagey color. Um, and so that was $4. And then I got this false graph picture. I had it on my table for my spring home decor tour. And it's got the blue, it's kind of pale pink, some blue and pink here. Yeah, it's a false graph. I usually use the heritage collection style, but this was really cute. And I think it was just $5. So I didn't want to pass that up at the antique store because Usually antiques are pretty pricey and I thought $5 for this was a pretty good steal and I already got my faux flowers in it, like I said. Okay, the rest is from our saver store. This is just a practical piece for our little fixer upper for silverware. It's $1.99 now. Everything I got that day was 30% um, off because I have uh, email sign up for their that place so it was a dollar forty for this little thing that is handy and then sitting right here in front of me this beautiful lamp um, it doesn't have a light in it so I don't even know if it works but it's got like some marble texture there it's bronze I really thought this would be cute for a fixer upper the lampshade is a little dirty but in my last bins haul for a dollar i got a threshold lampshade brand new for a dollar that i might use instead of this i'm not sure but this original price was 6.99 and so with that 30 percent off it would have been 5.99 is what they're saying i think so something like that and then i found this beautiful shower curtain it's got the tassels on the bottom and the brand i was kind of shocked when i picked that up um, it is the hearth and hand brand and it was 7.99 originally so that puts it at 5.59 so i thought that would be beautiful it's 
um, blue or gray and white. It's pretty much my shirt color right there. So I thought that would be really beautiful in our fixer upper or in our house. Um, I don't know. I just, I thought that was really pretty or I could resell it cause it's a hearth and hand brand. So that would sell pretty well. Just beautiful tassels there. Okay. I already have one of these in my own home decor, but we're having some open shelving at our little Airbnb and I thought that would be really cute. Or if not, I could sell this. This was $2.99 originally. Oh, it's a false scrap. If, if you didn't know, I do have one, um, like I said, in my kitchen already. So that puts it at... Oh, this one I think I found on a different day, actually, because <laughs> I forgot it went a couple different days. So this was $2.99 originally for this set, but I feel like that's a pretty good steal for some false craft. I'm always on the lookout for ironstone as well, and this beautiful ironstone plate has some, some texture on the side there. I'll probably hang it or display it on some of my kitchen shelves, $1.49. And it is the Johnson Rose Made in England Ironstone. So, did not want to pass that up. I kind of just spotted it and I was with a friend and she didn't even know what Ironstone was. So, snagged that up as well. Now, this is my last piece. I'm a sucker for baskets. I have some baskets downstairs that aren't even being used. But this was $3.99 on the day I didn't have the discount. So, the leather handles just make it so adorable it's a square and i thought that would be cute at our fixer upper or in our house be a great thing to corral little kids like lotions and stuff and on the shelf or some of their stuffed animals on their dresser or in my room put diapers in it whatever i need to use it for but I like the light wicker color as well. And like I said, the leather handles, it's beautiful. And I bought one um, in one of my other hauls that's a little bit larger, so. Well guys and friends, that is my haul. Thanks for coming along with me today. Thank you, Kristen, for collaborating with me. It is so fun to do thrifting and why not collaborate with a YouTube friend who is a star at thrifting. So anyways, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you haven't subscribed yet and you like these types of videos, motherhood, homemaking, and simple living, then I'd love to have you join my YouTube community. So love you guys and I'll talk with you in the next one.